Hey everyone, this is Anton from Pocket Now. We are still here at IFA at the Sony booth and we are taking a look at the brand new Sony Honami, which was the code name. It is now called the Xperia Z1. Let's check it out. So as you can see, the general aspect of the phone resembles very much with the Xperia Z, which was introduced earlier this year. We have still a glass back plate with a glass front, a thin build with the buttons up here, a very nice round power button, and something which I always applaud on an Android phone, a two-stage camera shutter release button, which will be good. Let's take a look at the hardware of this phone. We have a five inch full HD screen that's 920 by 1080, and under the screen, there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor clocking at 2.2 gigahertz, helped by two gigabytes of RAM. Internal storage is 16 gigabytes, which is of course expandable via a micro SD card slot. And the camera at the back, which we're looking at right now, is one of 20.7 megapixels. We'll see exactly what kind of pictures it produces, but uh, we have tested it out under these circumstances and we are quite not that impressed yet. The screen, while it generates nice colors, that has Let's get back on the camera. If, I'm not sure you can see this on camera, but the side angle visibility is not that good. But if you're looking at, at that center, it is vivid, something which we always like because previous Sony phones had washy, smooshy colors, which is bad. Quickly going on the device, we have Sony branding, we have the two megapixel webcam up top, and something which is really nice, and Sony executed it nicely. Uh, let's get a close-up shot of that. That's an LED notification. Right now, it's lighting up green, and hopefully, there's more colors to it. Uh, there's on-screen buttons, so there's nothing here, which I'm not sure why Sony went with this huge bezel on the bottom, since we don't have any physical buttons. Turning it to the side, power button, as mentioned, we have a two-stage camera shutter release button, and here, this flap will probably cover up the uh, is that this, this, this is the micro SIM card slot. Going to the back, camera as mentioned, LED flash and the NFC, probably up top, Sony branding, Xperia branding, the lighting just changed, which is always good. This is the actually the micro SD card slot and this was the micro SIM slot and of course the docking station for docking it. On the bottom, speakers, low firing, down firing. Let's take a look at the software. So we have Android 4.2.2 running on this out of the box. Hopefully it will get the 4.3 update soon. And of course we have Sony's own custom UI on top of it, which seems to be fluid. And something which we really appreciate is the app drawer. You can't flip through to the right, but once you flip from the left, you get this nice list. You can search for apps, uninstall applications, sort alphabetically or by your applications which you downloaded get us from the Play Store. And while we're here, let's take a look at the camera application. I'm gonna try to switch. Holding the uh, shutter button automatically launches the camera. We have some settings here. Uh, Self-timer, as usual, what, whatever you get in a camera application, it's not scrollable, so small shutter preview, burst with long press, video settings, and here are the main settings. Quick launching, geotagging, auto-uploading, shutter sound, and so on. We'll snap a couple of pictures, we'll introduce them in this post, and you can see the picture quality for yourselves. That's pretty much it for a quick look for the Sony Xperia Z1. We'll be back with more comparisons and, of course, more videos from the Sony booth here at IFA. I've been Anton, Michael behind the camera. Thank you very much for watching. The videos are still coming.